Hi, I'm Fabian with Sunbelt Transmission, so thanks for stopping by today. We produce all these videos for you guys to teach as much as we can about transmissions, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, push the button below, and here's your video. Thanks for stopping by today. At this point, we're going to go ahead and install the forward clutches now. Um, he's going to show you the uh, setup. Okay. Um, tenemos los, los dos metales. Uno es flat, parejo. Y tenemos uno que es angular. Eh, se, se pone en la posición que quede en la parte de abajo el primero así. Uh -huh. eh, y posteriormente el, queda el plano. Okay, so the spring uh, steel goes down first, and you have your next steel, and it went in down position, so that the the, uh, the uh, chamfer was up. Go ahead and reassemble the rest of the steels now. Okay, so we got two thin snap rings. So the first one goes is your is your thick snap ring to hold the clutch pack down. You line up your clutches. Now your next thing ring, there's a groove there. Esta parte no tiene posición de lado. La pueden poner en cualquier lado. Okay. All right, so that's for the gear for the uh, planetary, the ring gear. And then you have your other snap ring. And that would complete the uh, forward clutch assembly. Okay, make sure, make sure you replace those O-rings. They come in the kit. He's already done it. And you also have two on the back. Okay, so there's three rings there too. And remember to offset them when you install it. Okay. En la posición de instalarlo, siempre es recomendable no dejar los pegues de, de los O-rings en el la mismo agujero. Mm -hmm. Sino que se dejan, el primero de abajo se deja en esta posición de acá, el segundo en esta posición de acá, y el último en la misma posición que puse el primero abajo. Okay, so what he's just telling you right now is to make sure that you stagger the rings, okay? okay. Don't want them all in the same opening. Okay, so what he's doing is just checking the clearance to make sure the clutches are all the way down. So he uses a, either a screwdriver or a little true bar to keep it straight so you know that you're all the way down. Okay, 
procedemos a instalarle la bomba. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pump in. Now that you've got a gasket, it goes in one way. And I also want to let you know that we've already upgraded the pump and we put in a new throttle valve. So the pump has been upgraded already to, you know, for the pressure issues that the, these parts have. Vamos a utilizar eh, la misma guía que utilizamos para centrar los variadores para que no se nos corra el este sello. Okay, so he's going to use the same guide pins that he used to put the uh, variator covers together, and this guides down the pump, so that way you're not hurting any of the rings. En la pompa tenemos otro bell, que es este que tenemos acá. Okay, so we have another bearing right there. Es importante que a la hora de instalar el trae una pestañita y que va que es para separar en la parte que asienta acá. Es recomendable instalársela con esta zona así para la parte de abajo. Okay. Okay. Y por acá tenemos también dos dos rines que es importante también reemplazarlos, cambiarlos porque si no bota presión también por acá. So two more O-rings we replaced and our and make sure that you stagger them. Siempre es recomendable no dejarlos en la misma línea, dejar siempre uno en costado y el otro en otro costado right. las pegazones. So make sure you offset them. Ah, y trae también este O-ring right and make sure you replace the o-ring on the pump itself that'll also come in the kit for you too and we also put a, a new seal and a new bushing there as well Okay, always lube the seal. So he's guiding, lining up his pins, and this what this does is drop the pump straight in. Doesn't damage the seals or on the rings either. Took our guide pins out. Mm, size 12. Got size 12. Make sure you're cross tightening, that way you get a nice even pull down. Okay. All right, so don't forget to put our pin in for our rooster cone shaft to make sure it holds it in position. A little, a little bit of grease to keep it in place while you're assembling so it doesn't fall out. All right, so we've already done the inspection on the differential. So these two pieces basically just drop in. Okay, so we've already checked them. The bearings were good. Yep, he's just double checking. 
And let's go ahead and just look, give those a, a look. Uh, we've been cleaning and inspected this uh, differential already, so we know it's ready to go. Okay, let's go ahead and install it. So we just dropped in our pinion now. Now these just set in the case until you put the cover down. Procedemos a instalar el laque del parking. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our parking pie in. Hi, this is Fabian again. I hope you liked our video and please don't forget to subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more videos I'll make. Thank you again. Have a great day.